Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, welcome to the Forex. Daily video research from forexpsami.com. Today we will continue to talk about the euro currency. Just a minute, I switch the first chart to discuss. Okay, this is the daily chart of the euro currency. Well, my uh, looks like my warnings about the possible further upside move on the euro currency has been confirmed by the market. Market has reached the second area that we have discussed, 137.20. As you will remember, first we we talked about this 136.60 area and I said if market couldn't hold here it should continue move at least to the 137.21 so that has happened market has reached this area yesterday but from the bearish perspective uh, I can say that this uh, bearish context is still intact because market just stands below the 618 resistance from the recent swing down although market has penetrated it yesterday it closed below it the close price 137.18 on the futures market is below the 137.21, the 618 resistance from this swing to the downside. Also, we can see that the um, daily trend is clearly bearish. So, until market holds below this area, the bearish context is still valid. And I think that currently market still can move to the downside. Again, until market stands below it. On the second daily chart, it's right here what we can see. ABC pattern, first target 135.20, 100% expansion 133.85. But this area is not very logical, this target is not very logical because below the strong area of support. Monthly pivot point, weekly pivot support 1 and daily confidence support. So if market will show some signs of acceleration to the downside even we will enter on the short side, we can choose from two possible targets. The first target 135.20 or 136.60 area because this area is not very logical due to this strong area of support and the probability suggests that market will should struggle for the reaching of this area so I think that this one or this area of support as a target will be more suitable for the possible target from this ABC swing okay on the 4 hour chart what we see First of all, trend turns, holds, bullish, clearly bullish market above this red line, okay, and market has reached the target that we have discussed yesterday in the area of agreement with the 618 resistance from the whole swing to the downside from this A, B, C bottom, market has reached 618. Just above the market, the next target, 100% expansion is right here. It coincides with the 786 resistance from the whole swing down, and weekly period resistance one. So this rather strong area of resistance. Well, and market in, in fact still could reach it. Why? Because you can see the acceleration to the upside right here. Okay. This, this is a bullish sign. But the beacon and the crucial level for the possible move of the market is right here for our confluence support 136.84, 136.56 and weekly pivot point. Well, this is a particular area that we should track and watch for during today's trading session. If market will hold above this area, just touch the support and continue move to the upside, this will be the next area. This will be the next target 137.80 area roughly. If market will break it to the downside and move below the weekly pivot point, well, in this scenario I think that we can expect some acceleration to the downside. Well, there are two possible uh, ways to enter on the market on the short side. The first possible way is conservative one. So wait when the market will break out the C point, erase the C point from this ABC swing and move below the 135.90 area, the 618 support from the whole swing up. If the market will break it to the downside, then we can enter on the short side of the market of some retracement from this possible swing wherever it will be. Okay, this is my preferable scenario, and this because this is just safer to enter 
after breakout of this area. If you are an aggressive trader, well, you possibly can possess yourself on the short side even when the market break out this area of support because this is the crucial level that I will be watching for today trading session. Okay. So the couple of scenarios that's been said. What should we expect? If market will hold above this area, then don't be short. In this case, we can expect move to 137.80. This will be the next area uh, target. If market couldn't hold above this area and break the 136 area to the downside, then possibly we can uh, try to possess ourselves uh, on the short side of the market with the target around 135.20 or 134.60 area. That's my point of view on the current market. Be careful and just watch this area and make your decision.